I don't think it's very common knowledge how tough it can be being short. And for us short guys, it can be a constant battle just trying to maintain self-confidence. You literally have to look up to every other guy. Which I guess is alright if you're standing from a distance. But what about close talkers that have no sense of personal space? You gotta look up at them like this. What's up? How are people supposed to look up to you when they literally look down at you? It's tough with women too. 90% of males in romance novels are over 6 feet. What does that mean? Women fantasize about tall men. And most women actually do prefer tall guys. How are we short guys supposed to measure up to these expectations? Should I keep going with these height puns? Now, before we get into the tips, please click this subscribe button and don't forget the bell so you'll be the first to know about all of my brand new videos. So confidence, what exactly is confidence? What does it mean to be confident? Well, the English word confidence is actually derived from the Latin word confido, which basically means with trust. So self-confidence, in my opinion, is best described as trusting yourself. If you have confidence in yourself, you trust that you will do a good job at whatever it is that you're doing. If you're about to walk up to a girl that you find attractive to ask for her number, before you do, ask yourself, do I trust myself? Do I trust that I'm going to be successful at getting this girl's number? Do I trust that I'm not going to say something stupid like, um, hey. For me personally, asking myself this actually gives me an instant boost of confidence. Like, yeah, I trust myself. Let's do this. But maybe you don't trust yourself. Maybe that's your problem. But why not? What have you done to make you lose trust in yourself? Trust is ultimately built by proof of competency through accomplishments over time. In other words, the amount of trust you have for someone accumulates over time based on your previous experiences with them. So the trust you have for yourself or your own self-confidence can largely be affected by how you've handled previous situations in your life. So maybe you lack self-confidence talking to women because you've been rejected before. Maybe you lack confidence because women have literally told you that you're too short. Maybe you lack confidence because you've been rejected by women and you think it's because they think that you're too short. Whatever the reason is, you need to put all that shit in the past and learn to trust yourself again. We aren't born with confidence. Confidence is accumulative. Accumulative. Ac accumulative. Accumulative. Like anything, it's a skill that you can learn by practicing. If you practice landing a kickflip on a skateboard 49 times, chances are you'll feel a whole lot more confident yourself landing the 50th than you did the first. So if you want to be confident, practice whatever it is you want to be confident in. And over time, you will begin to trust yourself. So imagine a teenaged girl who is insecure about her body. She subconsciously tells herself every time she sees herself, you're not good enough, you're fat, you're ugly, you're worthless. But the reality is this girl is beautiful. She has all these amazing traits that people will fall in love with if only she could focus on them instead of her weaknesses. There is a healthy way to look in the mirror and a very unhealthy way to look in the mirror. If every time you look in the mirror, all you do is pick out shit that you don't like about yourself, you are looking in the mirror in a very unhealthy way. You need to learn to focus on your strengths. You know what? Being short is not one of your strengths. So what? Everybody has weaknesses. Even the strongest people you know have weaknesses. Instead, figure out your best features. Maybe you have a great smile. Maybe you're muscular. Maybe you're funny. Be the one that's always smiling. Go to the gym every day and be confident in your body. Tell the funniest jokes and make people laugh. Instead of dwelling on how short you are, be the best version of yourself. And that is how people will see you. And that is how you will see yourself. Us men, we carry the burden of societal expectations of masculinity. Men are expected to be big and tall and strong and dominant and fearless and emotionless. Shut up and man up. But underneath it all, I don't think there's a single man alive that simultaneously possesses all of these qualities. Although men pretend like they do. But it's pretty difficult for a short guy to fulfill the expectation of being tall. Impossible actually without leg extensions. So stop trying to live up to other people's expectations. Stop comparing yourself to others. I do think it's very important to surround yourself with people that you want to be like, people that you idolize, mentors, positive influences in your life. That type of self-comparison is healthy. It promotes and encourages growth. But when it comes to height, comparing yourself to a tall man 
that is never gonna have any kind of positive impact on your life. If you're a fully grown man, growing taller isn't something that you can strive for. Your height is not something that you can get better at. The more you compare your height to someone who is taller than you, the more you affirm to yourself that you have a lower value than someone who is tall, which is not true at all. The only person that you should ever compare yourself to is yourself. Are you better today than you were yesterday? Will you be better tomorrow than you are today? At the end of the day, you have to decide how you define yourself. Are you defined by how short you are? Or are you defined as an amazing man who doesn't give a fuck how tall he is? You decide.